thank you for coming to the Help Workshop today. We're going to talk to you about enrollment, how to enroll for classes online, as well as showing you what your program is, and then going through the program schedule with you, helping you pick out your classes for you to be ready. Registration for the fall will start April 11th. Summer registration is going on right now. I'm going to introduce who we are. I'm Kimberly French. I'm one of the counselors as well as an interim an interim in admissions and records, a coordinator of admissions records, and then this is Emily yep. And I'm in counseling, um, doing transfer and academic advising. So we do this almost daily. Um, so if you have any questions, let us know. But we're going to basically go through and kind of give you some instructions on how to do some of these things, and then we'll have something more um, hands on afterwards going through and looking at your degree progress report. Okay? All right. So yeah, over to Emily. Okay, so getting started. Um, so what we like to do when you first come in to meet with a counselor, and you can do this yourself also, um, is to make sure you're in the right plan of study. Um, you may, you know, be working towards a degree in science, we'll say, but you're actually enrolled in general studies or, you know, something of that nature. Um, so we want to make sure that the computer system actually reflects the plan that you're in. Um, so that's the first thing we, that we check, and I'll show you all how to check that um, in this presentation. Um, next. When you look at your degree progress report, it's going to show you what is required for that curriculum, what you've already taken that's part of that curriculum, and what is still remaining that needs to be fulfilled. Um, and so we'll show you, like I said, how to do all of this through your MyCBCC account. Since we don't have computers in here today, unfortunately, we can't actually walk you through it, but we will definitely um, show you in our presentation here. Any questions so far? Okay, so how many of you have rolled in, um, logged into your account before and looked at all of this? So this may be somewhat familiar, uh, but for those of you that haven't, um, here's some step-by-step -step instructions. So if you go to our homepage, right at the top right corner, there's a little key that says My CBCC. That is where you're going to log into your account. You can do lots of things in there. You can access Blackboard. If your classes use Blackboard, you can check your email there. And then the um, student information system, that's what we're going to be looking at today. So once you've logged in, um, you're going to click on the BCCS Student Information System. And then once you've clicked on that, there's a self-service page that you will um, take you to. And the next step is to click Student Center. Now, the Student Center is kind of home base, but also on that self-service page are each of these items as well. So there's a couple ways that you can get to where you need to go. Um, my Academics, so once you've clicked on Student Center, My Academics is where you can look at your curriculum, make sure you're in the right one, and see your degree progress report. Um, there's also an Enroll tab um, where you can enroll in your classes as well. So checking your curriculum, under My Academics, you can select View My Advisement Report. Um, this is also known as Degree Progress Report. You'll hear some different terms, but they're all referring to this degree progress that we're looking at. Um, this, again, will show you the classes that are required for your degree and make sure not only are you in the right degree, but you know, are you taking the right classes and are you meeting those requirements. Um, you can also, on this page, you can see um, you can create a what-if scenario. So we do that a lot of times if a student is in, let's say, general studies, but they want to know what would happen if they switched their program to science or to a different degree, how their classes that they've already taken, how that would look for that plan. Um, you can see who your advisor is. Um, if you're in a transfer plan, that's going to be a counselor. If you're in an applied degree, it's going to be someone in that program. So if you click that, that will tell you who that person is. Um, if you're a transfer student, so if you have classes from another four-year school, um, you can see how that um, has been transferred in. And then um, if you'd like to look at your unofficial transcript, you can do that there as well, or you can request your official transcript from here. Um, any questions about this page? So what is a degree progress report? So you said you've logged in before. Do you know what the degree progress report is? Have you looked at that before? I've looked at it. Um, I'm not sure if it's, I mean, if it's, is it accurate? I mean, it should be. And okay. that's, that's one of the things when you come in to meet with a counselor, we always check that to make sure that, you know, it's because one thing that changes too, not only are you in the right catalog or the right plan, but are you in the right catalog here? because the catalog year changes. So that's one thing we want to make sure that you're in the exact one that you've been following. Um, 
And so what it'll look like, and Ms. French, she's going to print your the ones out for you two, okay. um, so you can look at that. And like I said, it'll show you what curriculum you're in and then the requirements for that. So if you look at it and say, this is not my plan that I'm in, that needs to be changed. Um, so again, it tells you what classes you're in, what you've taken, what you need, all that good stuff. It's kind of like your guide for your time while you're at CBCC. Um, a lot of students don't come in and meet with a counselor, and that's okay as long as you know they're following that and they know they're meeting their requirements. But we always recommend come in and at least check in with us and make sure that you're on the right track. That's what I've been doing. Okay. I've been following that yeah. so far, but I thought, well, I need to probably see a counselor Absolutely. just to make sure that yes. that is. Yes, and we, we like that because we can make sure that you're on the right track and most of the time, you know, if you know you know how to follow that, it's okay, but requirements change, things change, and it may not be reflected there yet. So it's always good to just check in just to be sure. Yeah. Um, and so like I said, you can use this to stay um, on track and you know, planning ahead will definitely help you in the long run. Um, and so like I said, she's printing those out for you also once we're done with the actual presentation. We'll go over those with you. And since there's only two of you, you each will get to do that with one of us. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, now as far as enrolling goes, we're going to kind of switch gears here. Uh, have you enrolled online before? I did. Yeah. Okay. So, this might be something that you're already familiar with, but I'm going to go ahead and go over it anyway, just in case. Um, so, when you're searching for classes, there's a couple ways you can do that. Um, when you've logged in, like I said, on the Student Center, then you click Enroll. Um, it's going to take you to a page where you can either enter the class number. So if you went in and looked on the website today, the fall schedule is out. And it's, it's out as of today. Um, you can't enroll yet, not until April 11th, but you can start looking. And so you, if you found a class and the time that you like and you want to enroll in that, um, you just put in the five-digit class number and it'll let you, it'll take you right to that class. But sometimes students like to search and see what their options are for a certain class. So let's say we we'll use one, English 111 as an example. We want to see in the fall what English 111 classes there are. Um, so you could search where it says select subject. You just type E and G in there. That's the course prefix. And then if you just want to look at English classes, you would click search. If you want to look at English 111, you would put that 111 in the course number spot. Um, and not to be confusing, that's usually referenced as the catalog number um, on everything else. English, the 111 part is the catalog number. On here, it's referring to um, that as a course number. Um, course number is usually that five digit number. So, not to confuse you, but that is labeled differently there. Um, and then you would just search, and that's going to bring up every English 111 class on every campus, online, any format that it's offered. Um, now, if you wanted to modify your search, um, you can do that as well. And so if you wanted to search just at, excuse me, the Bedford campus or one of our off-site centers, you could search that way. Or if you wanted to just look at online, you could do that. Um, if you just wanted to look at certain days of the week, you could do that too. So you can kind of filter out um, any variables that you want to. Um, let's see. And then, so then you would click search and it'll only bring up the classes that meet that criteria. Any questions about that part? Anything you want to add, Ms. French? Okay. Um, so, going backwards a little bit. So, when it comes to actually looking at the schedule, there's a lot of information that's associated with each class, and sometimes that can be intimidating. What does all of this mean? So, we're going to kind of decode all of that for you. Um, so I've just used this example to be consistent. English 111, section 11 and A, and in the parentheses is 10493, that's the class number. So like I said, if you wanted to look at the schedule today that's out for fall and you wanted to you know, pick your classes, you would just need that five digit class number when it comes time to enroll. Um, or if you need to fill out an enrollment form, that's one of the numbers you'll need. Um, but E and G, that's the course prefix for English. So. Um, if you look in the back of the catalog, it has under the course descriptions all the prefixes if you're not sure what that is. Um, 111 is the catalog number, so that's for College Composition 1. And then the section number is 11 in May. That tells you where the class is located. Um, and you can tell that by this letter here, the letter M there, for this specific example means it's at the main campus, so M for Maine. Um, but the key is here, so if it has an A, it's for OptiVista, T is for Amherst, B, or excuse me, F is for Bedford, M for the Maine or Lynchburg campus, X for Appomattox, and then if you see a W, it's a web class. 
Um, I do want to um, add a couple that's not on there right there. Is um, the H, if you see an H on there, H-A or H-M-A, um, hybrid. Hybrid stands for part of your class is taught online, part of it in class. You still come every week to class, but the rest of the, to make up the three hours, is going to be taught online. Um, but this is three, three credit hour class. So you'd have an hour and a half here, hour and a half on instruction online. So that's what makes hybrid. Also, there's a collaborate, which is usually a CA. Um, and collaborate is where it's on the computer. Teachers teach me to the computer. You have a headset on and you speak into it. Um, but that's a collaborate course. So if you see the C in there, then that's a collaborate. Know that it's not, you don't have to be on campus. There could be an off campus center that you have to go to for at least your first class. Um, but then after your first class, you'll be having to be, you can do it at home and just listen to the teacher. But it is live still, so it's still a time associated with it. So just know that too. And then another one is a D, is dynamic, which means it's got its own dates and schedule. So, you know, just pay attention to that. If you're ever unsure, you can certainly ask us and we can go over that with you. Um, what I usually recommend when you're looking at the schedule, the cl each class has a link. If you click on that, it'll give you more details. And so that's really helpful to do that. Okay. And then lastly, the class number again, that's what you need when you want to enroll, because you can actually just type that number in and it'll bring you right to that class. So is there any questions about this part? Um, so Ms. French is actually printing out um, your degree progress reports. And so we're going to go over those with you, make sure you're in the right plan, taking the right classes, what classes you have next. Um, and then April 11th, you can start enrolling.